but this is all about Olympic glory. Scorching clear for Richard Hughes, Richard Hannard and Sheikh Joan bin Hamad Al Thani. Group 1 wins for Olympic glory Trev and Toronado ensured 2013 was a breakthrough year for Al Shakab Racing, the European arm of Sheikh Jayan Al Thani's thoroughbred racing operation. And at a press conference in central London on Friday, they announced the appointment of Highclere Racing's Harry Herbert as racing advisor and detailed ambitious plans for the year ahead. Well, Al Shakab Racing, as everybody knows, is an emerging force in thoroughbred racing and we have great plans for the future and uh, I think after winning the ARC and the Sussex Stakes and Queen Elizabeth II I think we have a, a, a future to look into and uh, I think we want to win a lot of races and uh, especially the races we haven't won before and also the ARC will be another target for us for next year and uh, I think we can achieve this now with uh, our help of our team and our Qatari nationals plus Harry Herbert, uh, you know, uh, he has been appointed today to be part of our team for the future. Um, like all these things, it's uh, you know it's acquiring horses. Uh, one can acquire horses at a rate of knots, and it's all about trying to acquire the right horses, buy the right horses, place those horses in the right races, and and um, but also look at the bigger picture from the breeding side going forward, um, the possible stud farms um, here or in Ireland or both. Well, uh, being the biggest doesn't mean you're more the most successful. I think focusing on, on, on where we are and where we want to be and how we can achieve the success is, is the major focus, I think, not, uh, not on, the, on how big we are. And the focus, is it on Europe or on, on developing around the world? At this time, Europe is a major factor for us, especially UK and France. America could be an option, Australia could be an option, but I think being here is, 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 a, is a big asset and I, we want to be here for many years to come. And what is it about European racing that's, that's so attractive? Well, uh, you know, in Europe, especially, I'm not c concluding of Australia, but in Europe, the grass racing is amazing and the feeling is great and the atmosphere, the, the, the fans, the, the people that love racehorsing, I think all of this is in, is in account to everything we are. And, and I think being in Royal Ascot is an amazing feeling, a special moment, and we want to be here. Uh, America is different. They have focused more on on, uh, on sand races like the Kentucky Derby, and this could be an option in the future. But I think uh, for now, European racing is is a main target. And as well as focusing on the racing side of things, it's also a breeding operation that you're developing as well. Yes, our breeding operation is extent, and we are carefully studying it. We have a great team, a Qatari team, and uh, and I think this team uh, will will develop in the future a uh, great success. We hope we hope we can be one of the best, but uh, with God's blessing, we we will we we will try to be one of the best, most successful. And it's been well publicised that Jad Monte Farms are downsizing. Uh, would some of their, their prospects, their, their bloodstock, be of interest to, to you? Judgment is uh, one of the most successful uh, race organisations in the world. And no doubt, anything from Judgment, especially the, the big horses, the big names, will be an asset. But if it's going to be part of our plan, I don't know at this moment. It's, it's, it's uh, something maybe in the future. But... Uh, this is the first time I hear this information from you, so uh, thank you very much, yes. And uh, just looking at the, the racing side of things, at the moment you have tra horses in training with, the, with a number of different trainers. Is, is the plan to stay as you are or, or move more centralised and, and have horses just at one base? No, as everybody knows, you know, we have a, a tremendous relationship with uh, Richard Hannon and I think this relationship will, will, will be for the many, he's a part of our team and he'll be for many years to come. But uh, including other trainers is, is a big possibility and it's uh, as long as we are benefiting from this, I think yes, why not? Um, uh, Richard Hannon uh, Jr. has a wonderful relationship with Sheikh Joanne, been very, very successful as we've seen this year. Um, so is likely to be the you know, the principal trainer in, um, in Britain. But they've made it quite clear that, that you know, they're not looking just to have one trainer. Um, inevitably, there will be more. There are more at the moment. Um, Marco Botti and Luca Kamani, um, Sir Michael Stout, Jane Cecil um, as a horse, uh, Willie Muir, Richard Fahey. Um, so they're already spread. In all, I think, 17 trainers in this country and in France. So there is a current number employed. Um, and I've no doubt that that will change in the weight of numbers as, uh, as the operation expands. 
Frankie de Tor is our is a retained jockey. We could have another jockey in the future. Uh, Richard Hughes is a, is a major help to us, and he's a great jockey. He's the leading jockey in UK, and we could be looking to other jockeys. Why not? But our focus is going to be on on, on our Qatari jockey now, to get him focused to the main tracks, and and uh, who knows, one day he could he could be a winner in a Group One race. And what's his name? Falah Bognim. And like Frankie de Tori, he's he's starting off in in Europe with Luca Kamani. Yes. Yes, I think we studied where is the right base to go and I think Luke Kamani is a very experienced trainer with a very good CV and, and I think he fits the caliber perfect to, to, to train Falah, I think. This is the direction we want to go. Mikhail does it again because Monterotto's won the cup. Certainly when Godolphin first um, established themselves in Europe, their, their focus was created, finding horses that they could take around the world and, and really sort of show off the, the brand yes. on, on a global scale. Are you going to be doing the same, looking for horses that you can, can take to the big races around the world? Yes, I think expose, exposure for Qatar is a major factor for us. And I think this is a part of our, our, our focus. And we, w we will be doing that, yes. And, and carrying the Qatari flag is, is, is the major factor for us. Yes. And longer term, what, what's the situation with, with racing in Qatar at the moment? Would you have plans to, to host an international event over there perhaps? Yes, yes we will. We will have a plan in the, the few years to come. And we, will, uh, we want to invite all the international horses to come. And, but this, the, the, they can come uh, this year, the Emir Sword is open to all international horses. Maybe in the future with, with a new, new track, we could have a, a much bigger race. But for at this time, everybody is welcome to come. And also, Sheikh Farhad has made um, great inroads since he's been um, racing in, in the UK. Obviously, Sheikh Johan and Sheikh Farhad are, are related. Would they have plans to, to create a joint venture down the road? Yes, why not? Since they're from the same family, it could be done. Uh, this comes back to uh, Sheikh Johan and Sheikh Fahad if they want to join in one team. But at this time, uh, they have joined in a couple of year in purchase, which I think is a bright stri stride for the future. Sheikh Fahad started before us, as everybody knows. We started after, and maybe in, 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 one, in the future we could be one force. Who knows? Well, one final question. You had a, a tremendous season last year with Trev, Olympic glory, Toronado. What would be the, uh, the objective for, for the next season? What's, what's the main target? Well, uh, Trev, um, uh, she will be going back to the ARC again. She will have a prep race before, either in UK or France. I think it's going to be Prince of Wales. Um, and uh, for Olympic glory uh, and uh, Toronado, they'll be going back to race in UK and I think we, we will sit out with our team uh, with uh, Harry and his team and we will conclude with Richard Hannan which race will be the, the best race for, uh, option for us. I think, it, I think the, the main objective of all else will be to try and I suppose uh, um, have Trev retire undefeated and with another arc under her belt um, that would be phenomenal. Um, this, as I say, will, will, my discussions with the trainers have not taken place yet because this role has had to have been so secretive until the announcement today that, um, that even for trainers it's, it's, uh, this has been news to them. So I look forward to working with, with, with the trainers, the great trainers that uh, Sheikh Joan has, and I think it must be that these good horses continue to win more Group 1 races, that the uh, Colts retire to stud with uh, you know, further group one success to their names and if that filly can win another arc um, and remain undefeated that would be absolutely phenomenal but hopefully the new crop coming through there will be inevitably be other proven horse purchases as well as the two rolls of next year so there's a you know there's a this is an exciting opportunity um, for me and I'm, I think it's a phenomenal thing for um, British racing and for um, you know international racing, this, uh, this is a very exciting uh, journey. And as NASA said to me early on, it'll be one hell of a ride. <laughs> well, I've, I've no doubt.